Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna check out a brand new electrolyte from our good friends at Redmond Real Salt. And we'll find out if it relights our life right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So we all know that on the keto lifestyle, it's very important to have your electrolytes. Without them, you're gonna get headaches, you're gonna get cramps, you go through a really bad keto flu. But it's important for everybody to get their electrolytes. Yeah, even if you're not on the keto diet, I mean, electrolytes are super important. As a matter of fact, you have companies making millions and millions of dollars marketing things like Gatorade, Powerade, and other drinks to our kids. And the bottom line is they're filled with sugar, they're filled with chemicals, and they're just not any good for you. Actually, Electrolytes are so important that we did a video breaking down all of the different electrolyte offerings at that time and the yes. most popular sources. Yeah, I will leave a link for that over Rachel's head. And in that video, we took the most popular ways that people get their electrolytes on the keto lifestyle and even a couple of other things that we wouldn't use like Pedialyte. We compared them all, figured out the cost of them, how much it costs to get a thousand uh, milligrams of potassium in there because that's a very important electrolyte. But at the time, there was not this. Right. And I am super excited about this. This is a new electrolyte drink from our good friends at Redmond Rail Salt. And the bottom line is, if you've been watching our channel for any length of time, you know we love Redmond's. They're a local company, they're coming from Utah, they're here in the United States, and they have phenomenal salt. Yeah, I have a feeling I know what the sodium source is. Yeah, I would say so. So here's what we have here. They have three new electrolyte drinks. So in the past, we've always had things like Ultima Replenisha or Keto Vitals. Yeah, because I do like an electrolyte drink that has a flavor to it yes. normally. Yeah, so we have three different kinds here. They have a, what is this one here? Lemon lime flavor. They have mixed berry. And they have an unflavored it's for people who maybe you're on a fast and you need to get some electrolytes. So she said, you can take this, put a few drop, like squeezes of lemon or something in there and you're not gonna break your fast at all with it. I love it. So real quick, we're gonna try all three of these, but I just wanted to let you guys know what you get in one serving of this. So one serving of this is gonna contain a thousand milligrams of sodium. Obviously, it's coming from red mineral salt. Right. 500 milligrams of potassium, 1,585 milligrams of chloride, 75 milligrams of calcium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium, plus 60 other trace minerals. It, this is exciting. Are honestly. you ready? Yes. So here's what we got. We've got three blender bottles over here with water because we've got three different flavors. Only two of which match for some reason. Does this aggravate you guys as much as it aggravates me? Like the kids do the dishes, they take them, they put them away, and the top doesn't match. I mean, it works, but it's a color thing. It's, it's, this really is freaking me out that the color does not match the bottom. That's all right. Okay, now, if you look on the container, I did look on the container here, and on the container, it says you should mix this with 16 to 20 ounces of water. Okay. But personally for me, I'm never gonna drink just a small water or just a bottle. Usually it's gonna be filling it up because I want it to last longer, which I immediately like that because a lot of the electrolyte ones tell you mix it with eight to 12 ounces of water. And so I wanna stretch my dollar, so I mix that one scoop with 20 to 26 ounces of water. Well, and I'm always gonna need a bunch of ice. So I filled this up the way we would normally fill it and we're not testing it with how much water they recommend, I'm testing it with how much water I would use. So if it's got a good flavor, it's probably an even better flavor right. if you're only using 16 to 20 ounces of water. But we gotta use it like we'd actually use I'm it. I'm gonna test it the way I'm using it. Which flavor are we gonna go with first? Let's go with unflavored first to see if it truly doesn't add any kind of wonkiness okay. to the water. So I'm gonna put the other ones off to the side. Not everybody likes a sweetener. Right. 
so here we go. We've got, this is the unflavored. This is what it looks like. And this has 80 servings in the container. Wow. So a little dab will do ya. We have not tried this. Any smell to it? It does have a little bit of a smell to it. Ooh. It smells almost like a lemon lime. Right, like refreshing. Yeah. Is that, does that make sense? It smells refreshing. Okay, so that's the scoop. Very much like the ultimate and scoop. And it's one scoop. Okay. We gotta do the shake, but put the lid on. And this little guy. I've done that. Anybody ever shake a blender bottle and forget yes. to like put the lid on for the yes. snap? A lot. I did it with keto chow once. Everywhere. Shake it good. Okay, here we go. Okay. Is it truly flavorless? Salty. Not overly salty. It's it's taste. Salty. It's a water with a little bit of salt in it. It's not like drinking salt no, water. No, it's not like you go to the beach and you're like, oh my goodness, like my throat is burning because salt. But you can definitely tell there's electrolytes in there. Mm. But that's, I'm thinking, yeah, for a fast, that is pretty good. Yeah, this yeah. would be, this is actually refreshing. Right, like she said, add a few draw, a few squeezes of lemon or something like that in there, mm. no problem. Okay, next up. So we're gonna go lemon, lime, or berry. Mm. Now, when I was talking to her on her text message when they sent this to us, she told me berry's her favorite, so I'm gonna leave berry for last. Okay. I'm a fruit punch girl, and I feel like that's gonna be our closest to fruit punch. A piece of ice came through the top of the blender bottle and now I have to deal with it. Now that is lemon lime. I thought this smelled like lemon. No, this is lemon lime. I'm gonna give you your Wonder Woman glass here for this. Thank you. One scoop. Okay. And again, there's probably about four ounces more water in here than it's calling for. Cause that's amazing. Cause this is pretty intense with this amount of water. <laughs> Hey, it's the same size, obviously. Wow. Don't drink it like that, though. That would have been funny. Mm, would it, though? I don't know if it would have been funny. Okay, snap that lid down. It's on. Okay. I snapped it good on here. All right. I always put my finger over the top because I never even trust the little thing on top. Gotta take risks in life. No. Not, not with my beverages. It's probably more importantly, not with our camera and our computer. Right. So this is lemon lime. That is good. Wow. If you have ever liked like lemon Gatorade, mm -hmm. right? Lemon lime Gatorade. Just like it. You're gonna love this. It's just, just like it, just it's like smooth. it. It's smooth. It doesn't- I need another swig of this. It doesn't taste quite as salty as that. It The, the flavoring being added really helps to tone that salt down. You definitely get it on your tongue. It's like, a, yeah, like, I guess the only way to explain it is a smoothness when you take electrolytes, when you drink like a salt water, it's, it's kind of like- It's cool. Yes. It's but good. it's got a good flavor. It's got a good flavor as soon as it hits your tongue and then I'm still tasting it. It's not like I get the flavor of it's the lemon like, lime and then the salt comes and together. the flavor's gone. It's it's there. It's It's got the perfect amount of sweetness. It does. Be, and there's no like salt granules no. in there. Everything is dissolved. No. Mm. Okay. One more. We've got the berry, which Julie told me this is her favorite flavor. Okay. You wanna go ahead and take the, unsnap the top there. We don't even have to take the top off. Okay. This is actually important because like, does the little scoop, oh, I gotta dig for a scoop. Uh-oh. Oh no, the scoop's on the bottom. That always happens to me with laundry detergent. I'll tell you this though. One of the things that I don't like about Ultima okay. is it's a big, tall thing. Yes, and that scoop gets Here. buried. You can't get to the bottom of the container no. when you get halfway down. You know what they need to have? An opening at the top and an opening at the bottom. Okay, so here we go. Can we do this? 
Yes. It fits in the top. You have a snow-covered fingernail. Don't say anything. Got to taste it first. Your turn to shake. Okay. In three, two, one. I'm going to be aggressive. This is going to be shaken. Not stirred. <laughs> okay. Me first. You first. You shook it, you get it. Don't say anything. That is good. That is very nice. I don't know which one I like better. I know which one I like better. The lemon. And you I like can't even believe it. This tastes a lot like um, a fruit punch to it does. me. It, it does tastes taste like, like, a like a fruit, fruit punch. punch. But this lemon is so refreshing. Yeah. I don't know which. I like them both. I, I really like, like them both. Not overpowering on the flavor. No. It's just enough and definitely not super sweet. It's sweet enough. Like, I don't want an electrolyte drink that is so sweet that I don't get, like, the benefits of all the electrolytes. I don't want to be craving, like, using this to fill a sweet craving. This tastes to me, the lemon one, like something that you would have in one, like, at a party in the big container of, you know, the glass container with the spigot and you have, you know, water mixed with something. Right. It tastes very delicious and fancy. So let's do our five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? So we'll start off with number one, the ingredients. We'll take a look at all three at one time. So I've got the lemon lime flavor. Okay. So the part of the ingredients are actually listed on the nutrition label. We've got calcium, iron, iodine, magnesium, chloride, sodium, potassium, and then coconut water powder. Now this one, the unflavored does not have the coconut powder. Okay. Then we have other ingredients are GMO-free citric acid, natural lemon and lime flavors, and stevia leaf extract. And this one has the natural raspberry, blueberry, and lemon flavor with the stevia leaf extract. This one just has potassium citrate and magnesium citrate. Awesome. So the ingredients are really good and I love the fact that they're only using stevia to sweeten it. We don't have any monk fruit in here. We don't have any erythritol, any kind of sugar alcohols. It's just got stevia and again, it's not overly sweet. I'm not saying it's not sweet, but it's not overly sweet. No, it's just a nice subtle flavor. Yeah. So number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? And we can just look at one of them for this, except right. for maybe the unflavored one. But I'm looking at the lemon lime one, five calories per serving. A serving is one scoop. There is zero fat, zero carbohydrates, zero sugars. Then we're gonna go over the rest of it real quick. 75 milligrams of calcium, one milligram of iron, 52 milligrams of iodine. 60 milligrams of magnesium, 1,585 milligrams of chloride, 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 500 milligrams of potassium, and 100 milligrams of coconut water powder. Okay, so the um, the nutrition label on unflavored is a little bit different. There's zero calories in okay. this. There is zero carbs still, 13 milligrams of calcium, one milligram of iron, then 52 uh, MCGs of iodine, 60 magnesium, 1585 chloride, and 1000 sodium with 500 potassium. Awesome. Yeah. So five calories in the flavored ones, zero calories in the unflavored one, and most importantly, zero total carbs. Yeah. I'm excited about that. Me too. Number three, how does it taste? It. They all taste really nice okay, okay so the the unflavored is is a salty taste mm -hmm. but it's not weird no right? it doesn't have like a gross medicine-y taste no it doesn't taste medicine-y the berry one tastes like a fruit punch but it tastes more medicinal to me mm -hmm. than the lemon lime the lemon lime tastes to me like something i would i would reach for as a regular drink okay um yeah the unflavored one a slight salt water taste what you would expect drinking an electrolyte powder um and whether flavored or unflavored but again it's got a thousand milligrams of sodium which is awesome 
I really like the fruit punch. It's a light fruit, what they're calling it berry, but to me it's a light yeah. fruit punch flavor. The lemon lime is really, really good. Um, how would you compare this to Keto Vitals or Ultima? This, the fruit punch one tastes a lot to me like some of the berry Ultima that okay. I've had. And um, this one tastes way better than the lemon Keto Vitals okay. taste to me. And then this, I just really like the unflavored thinking forward to a, a, fast, a fast day because it's not got a flavor that's going to make me want some more food, mm -hmm. right? It's not gonna trigger me. Okay, so for me, I would say these are a lot better than Keto Vitals. Yeah. And, and at, when, when you talk about that little salty taste, the Keto Vitals definitely had that little bit of a salt taste. Yes. The Ultima as well, um, I think they taste much better than both of them, but yeah. I would say if you had to rank them, I'm gonna go this one, then I would drink the Ultima, then I would drink the Keto Vitals now. Okay. Um, but the flavors on these are really, really good. Really nice. Number four, how much do they cost? Okay. Okay, so the price on these are $39. The only thing is, there's like, how many servings? So that has 80 servings. 80. And these have 50 servings, okay? Wow. So it's $39 on the website. Uh, we have a coupon code though. Mm -hmm. Our coupon code is 2 Crazy Ketos. That's gonna get you 15% off at Redmond, which would bring them down to $34. Wow. Now, in addition to that, it's actually 30, I think it's $39.99. Okay. So it brings it down to $34. Mm -hmm. If you spend $50 on the Redmond site, you get free shipping. So you can oh. pick this up, maybe thing up, pick up a thing of salt or get two of these, get a discount, get free shipping. And I was thinking, I mean, back to our taste, you could add whatever flavoring you wanted to this, mm -hmm. right? So if there's, so if it's it's unflavored and but you get eighty servings, right? You may be ahead to get this and then add a flavoring of your choice, right? Well, I figure while we're on price, we really have to do a comparison quickly to the other one. So let's grab that Ultima. I okay. unfortunately do not have any more Keto Vitals. So, but I do know some of the Keto Vital statistics. So on the Ultima, you do get 90 servings in this container. The regular price of Ultima is $40, and right now, at the time of recording of this video, it's $33. Okay. So you get a few more servings in here. However, this has only 250 milligrams of potassium per serving. Oh. And it's got 55 milligrams of sodium and 100 milligrams of magnesium. A Little bit more magnesium, a lot less sodium. You're talking about 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 55 milligrams of sodium. But it's not surprising. Yeah, and obviously one of the reasons they wanna keep the sodium down is because that's going to affect the taste, obviously. Right. But you basically would have to drink two scoops of this for one scoop of this to get the potassium. And that is one of the main reasons I am drinking an electrolyte powder drink is I want to get that potassium in me. Yeah. So now you're looking at, this is actually more money than this, mm -hmm. right? Because a double serving of this is going to equal one of these as far as my potassium. Exactly. And that's what we did in that one video. We were looking at potassium being the most important one to be trying to get from your electrolyte drinks because that's the one that's gonna deal with your cramping and stuff like that. Right. So that's the one that I'm really focusing on. And even if you wanna compare that to a Zip Fizz, a Zip Fizz zip is gonna be two carbs, but it's a thousand milligrams of potassium. So you're getting more potassium there, but you're getting that at the expense of two carbs. Two carbs, and this is- And a dollar or two. No carbs. No carbs, and no like other kinds of, you have to worry about having like sucralose or anything like that. Right. Comparing it to Keto Vitals, I've got this on my screen right now. Keto Vitals is $40 or $39. Currently, when we're looking at this, on sale for $29. I cannot stop drinking this one. 60 servings in a container, so roughly we're in the same ballpark. 500 milligrams of potassium, 200 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of magnesium. So if you're gonna look at cost price, we're right about identical to Keto Vitals. Mm -hmm. Same price, roughly, uh, when it's not on sale. Same amount of servings and the same amount of, mag of potassium. I just feel like this one tastes better. I think it tastes better. I yeah. think it tastes much better. But taste is subjective. Finally, most uh, the next one that a lot of people do purchase, so we're going to throw it in here, the Dr. Berg's Electrolyte Powder, $33 for 45 servings, so less servings than all of these. 
does have a thousand milligrams of potassium, so it does have more potassium, but it's only got 10 milligrams of sodium and 120 milligrams of magnesium. And that's, it's kind of common that with the electrolyte drinks, they're, they're leaning on one thing yeah. or the other. Like it's heavy on sodium or it's heavy on potassium, heavy on magnesium. And they're like, they're really the champs in that one area. And personally, I've had the Dr. Berg's one. I just do not like the flavor. No. These, I think, have the best flavors of the four that we just mentioned. Yeah. And, and not just because I like Redmond, but honestly, I think they have the best flavor out of the four. Especially lemon. Okay, so number five. Would we recommend this? I feel very comfortable recommending anything from Redmond. Mm -hmm. I think that they are very responsible in what they put in stuff. I like the fact that you can go and tour the mine, go yeah. right to the source of where they're getting this stuff from. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Yeah, I love all the products from Redmond. And again, not just because we like them, I just like the products. I love the fact that they're coming right here from America. We're not yeah. getting this stuff from other countries. You know, we're supporting a local business. They're right here in Utah. They're using, you know, all of their salt is coming from an underground mine. We use Redmond solely for our salt source. And we use their toothpaste and a lot of their facial washes and everything else. So this is no exception. And I will definitely be using this as my electrolyte source, you know, when I'm looking to have some kind of a flavored drink. And this is the time to really kind of stock up on it because we're going into the summer months. You're going to be outside. You're going to be like getting sweaty. It gets hotter. And you need to be conscious of, yep. of your electrolytes. Yeah. Well, that is our video for today. Like I said, you can currently get this on the Redmond website. I'm gonna leave a link down below. Uh, if you do use that link, you are supporting our channel, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you. And we do have the coupon code of Two Crazy Ketos. That's gonna get you 15% off, like on your purchase. And if you spend fifty dollars more, you're gonna get free shipping on top of that. Yeah. So please do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.